All right, Derek here. Day 48, I believe, or nine. Um, wanted to make a video for those of you who want to quit doing drugs. This isn't just heroin, though heroin was the biggest and the hardest for me. If you're on coke, crack, heroin, meth, methadone, suboxone, you name it, benzos, how to quit successfully. Now, if you're on benzos or alcohol, you might need to go to the hospital because you can die from, uh, from DTs or possibly from the benzos when you're coming off. Now, I was looking online when I was trying to quit time and time again off heroin, which I never had success doing, and I was thinking, all right, what, how can I quit this with no pain? I'm trying to find out how to do this without pain. And um, there's over-the-counter medicine that you can take. And I was reading one site that said, if you take Benadryl, if you take uh, the cough syrup, I uh, forget what it's called, and then you, you want to take those, uh, the constipation medicine because there's um, receptors in your intestines that help with this whole process and you won't feel pain, supposedly. Well, I did that wasn't successful um then i had these cramps in my stomach i thought i was gonna have to go to the hospital so my wife had to go get two enemas from food line that stick up my ass just to get the shit out that's how bad it was so i tried methadone before and i took methadone during that time trying to get off too and i never was successful it any chemical for me now this isn't for everyone out there but if you're struggling with addiction I switch addictions. I, you know, if it's alcohol, it's it's vodka. Then it's well, tequila. No, it's it's brown liquor. No, I'm gonna do beer. No, I'm gonna do wine. No, I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna do that. Or if it's with drugs, it'll be I'm gonna do Percocet or I'm gonna do Vicodin or I'm gonna do heroin or Opanas or Oxycontin or whatever it might be. So I realize that I put a chemical in my body and I keep going. So the only way that I know how to actually quit is cold turkey literally off of everything but how do you do it how do you go through that without pain well the hard blunder of that is you don't you go through pain you have to be willing to experience that pain and go through it if you're like me and every time you've tried the Suboxone Clinic and the Methadone Clinic and you've tried different methods to try and get off and you always end up somehow coming back or, or you stay on the Suboxone, then you got to detox off Suboxone or whatever. I've never been successful with any chemicals I've had in my body, so I had to cold turkey. And in order for me to actually cold turkey and stay quit, I had to feel what the hell I had been doing. But I had to be willing to go to any lengths it did not matter. So, you find a place you can go that's safe, and you go somewhere where you can access drugs. Typically, I'd give my keys up to somebody. I would give my phone up. I would do anything that I possibly could to prevent myself from being able to get it. My experience was I didn't even want to get clean. So I have, a, I have a story in and of itself there. I wanted to at times, and I didn't really want to, and I did, and I didn't. It's like the two wolf story. Which, which wolf are you going to feed the most? But when you set yourself up for success like that, when you really are like, screw the pain, I'm going to get straight, well, you have no phone. You're in a secluded area somewhere out away from where you can get anything. You don't have access to a phone to call Dope Man. You don't have access to drugs. So now what are you going to do? You're going to rely on what you have. You're going to drink fluids if you can. I couldn't swallow very well while I was in my most extreme withdrawal, the acute withdrawal. withdrawal. I took ibuprofen 800 milligram once that night. That was it. And I suffered. I, I sucked. And it really, really sucked. But after that first day and a half of withdrawal, which it took me two days to go into withdrawal, once I was in the withdrawal, I knew I just had to go through it. And it sucked. I could not sleep. I was miserable. 
I thought the next day it was over, and then that night comes, and it was even worse again. So over and over, each night, it got better and better, even though it sucked. I went through seven days of no sleep, except very little, and it was throughout the seven days that I acquired 24 hours of sleep. So I was up, if you will, around 120 hours. But no sleep isn't going to kill you. So my, my suggestion for someone, if you're like me, is do what I said in terms of taking the keys, give them up. Don't have a vehicle. Don't have a way to contact the dope man. Don't, uh, don't stay somewhere where you know you can walk and get it. Put yourself up somewhere where you know it'll be successful. And then, as you start to, if you will, think clear again, the cloud starts to go away a little in the mind, <laughs> and you can think clearly. You're getting goosebumps now. You're starting to feel, all right, I've got cold sweats and cold chills, but I'm still feeling like reality's starting to set in. There's a saying, sober. Sober means son of a bitch, everything's real. So, when that starts to happen, you really need people. You need people to talk to. You need a group to go to. I totally suggest Narcotics Anonymous, Alcoholics Anonymous, uh, Cocaine's Anonymous, Heroin's Anonymous, it doesn't matter. Whatever anonymous, drug-related, alcohol-related, does not matter. Get involved in one of these groups. They've got other groups out there, too. Look it up. But they're smart recovery and whatnot. But I go to NA and AA. And it's been successful so far. Through the worst pain, just bear it each moment knowing it's going to go away eventually. Try to sit still. I know you can't. I already know. You're going to have the crawls. Those little spiders crawling through your body. Your legs are going to keep jumping. You're going to have a fever. Cold as hell. No matter what, you're going to be cold. If you're in hot weather, you're going to be cold. In a hot bathtub, you're going to feel cold. You want to stay hydrated. You want to try and eat healthy if you can help it. But you need people to talk to through all of this. You need to tell them exactly where you're at. Number one, be honest. Honesty is going to help set all this shit loose. You won't have to do this. You can go through this. I know how you feel. And I've been there. And now... Life has gotten so much better at day 49, 48, 49. I, I just want people to know that you can go to methadone clinics, you can go to suboxone clinics if you're really going to do this shit right and you're not trying to stay high or try to go do this stuff to get high. But if you're like me, you always find a way to do it to stay feeling something to numb the real feelings you have inside. So I had to cold turkey everything. And it took everything to go through it and it still takes everything for me to keep what I have and the only way I'm going to keep it is if I do what I'm doing right now and give it away and I'm telling you guys you can do it but you have to be willing to go to any links you don't have to die you don't have to overdose you don't have to freaking do this shit anymore you can overcome this crap if you just get a support group talk to people reach out and say listen this is what I'm going through this is where I'm at because I did it, and I was an impossible, hopeless drug addict. Junkie, lying, thieving, cheating, <clears throat> piece of trash. To a successful, doing better, one day at a time, learning how to live life on life's terms person. A person who has a lot of problems, but I don't have to live in those problems. My God has control over them. And I just chill out and enjoy life. So I hope this video helps anyone out there who's wondering how to get off drugs. Thanks.